Hello, my friends. Welcome back to The Morning Mindset. I want to start out today by reminding you coming up this Friday is another of our Pray Together episodes. And I've noticed in the stats that those episodes are not listened to as much as these daily mindset episodes. I kind of understand that. They are longer episodes, sometimes almost an hour long. And they are nothing fancy, just simply me praying and you joining me to pray for the needs people have submitted. But I want to encourage you, try to pray with me on those episodes. Try to listen. And you can do it in in bite-sized chunks if you need to. But those episodes are so important. So many needs being expressed and so many opportunities for us to come alongside each other as believers in Christ. If you have a request you'd like to submit for this Friday or a praise that we could share with you, go to carrygreen.com slash prayer. That link is also in the description of this episode. Okay, today we're going to be talking about foolishness. Uh, Solomon majors on this point. He talks about the wise versus the fool all the time. And today, chapter 14 covers a lot of this in verse 3, verses 7 through 9, verses 15 through 18, verse 24, verse 29, and verse 31. And we're going to do our best to get through all of those. I'm just going to read them all so that we at least can have them out there, and then we'll go back and talk about them. Verse 3, by the mouth of a fool comes a rod for his back, but the lips of the wise will preserve them. Verses 7 through 9, leave the presence of a fool, for there you do not meet words of knowledge. The wisdom of the prudent is to discern his way, but the folly of fools is deceiving. Fools mock at the guilt offering, but the upright enjoy acceptance. Verses 15 through 18, the simple believes everything, but the prudent gives thought to his steps. One who is wise is cautious and turns away from evil, but a fool is reckless and careless. A man of quick temper acts foolishly, and a man of evil devices is hated. The simple inherit folly, but the prudent are crowned with knowledge. Verse 24, the crown of the wise is their wealth, but the folly of fools brings folly. Verse 29, whoever is slow to anger has great understanding, but he who has a hasty temper exalts folly. And then verse 31, wisdom rests in the heart of a man of understanding, but it makes itself known even in the midst of fools. So friends, what can we say about foolishness in light of all these verses? Well, there are a number of characteristics we see that have to do with being fool. Number one, uh, you will not find knowledge in the presence of a fool. You won't find wisdom there. What they speak is foolishness. It's folly is one of the words that Solomon says about them. It also says fools oftentimes are mockers, people who mock things, who are busy making fun of things rather than contributing in a constructive way to conversations and situations. A fool often is a person who does not give careful thought to their steps. And so they kind of impetuously or impulsively jump into things without thinking through the consequences. Solomon calls them reckless and careless. He also says that a foolish person has a quick temper and that it brings about damage because of that quick temper. And all of these characteristics are negative things, wouldn't you say? They're things we don't want to be true of us or our children or our spouse or our friends. We want wisdom to prevail. And wisdom really is the opposite of being a fool. And so my encouragement was today is to spend some time here in Proverbs 14 and think through these things that fools do and let the Holy Spirit point out in our own lives, where do you do something similar? Are you a mocker? Are you one who makes fun of things all the time? Maybe you have a quick temper. Maybe you don't give careful thought to your steps and seek the counsel of others, seek the counsel of the scripture, and you wind up making reckless or careless decisions. Friends, Foolishness is to be the furthest thing from us as followers of Jesus Christ. We are to be walking in wisdom because our God is full of wisdom. And my prayer for you, my prayer for me, is that our hearts will be attuned to the wisdom of our King and we'll be able to represent Him well in this earth as a result. Jesus, you are our King and we ask you to imbue us with your wisdom Fill us up with it. 
Give us eyes to see the right and the wrong of our circumstances and situations that we can do the right. Enable us to not be hasty in decisions, but rather to seek counsel and discernment. Enable us to kill our ungodly anger, that we can be slow to anger and quick to listen as the book of James instructs. Lord, fill us with prudence that we will not allow temper or impulsiveness or recklessness to get the better of us, but rather, Lord, that we would exhibit your wisdom in everything we do for your glory. 